Hello, had a question. How do you add um, data, CSV data with um, place name and geocode it to your map? So let's work out how to do that now. So I've got a CSV file here, major towns and cities. Let's explore that, see what it looks like. Um, I've got some stuff going on in the background of my computer, so it's taking a while. This is just opening up the CSV file. Okay, here we go. So we've got object ID. What's this here? City. So it's got another code. Um, and then ah, here we go, the name of the city, tcity15nm. And then oh, we've got an area of the shape files. So this is maybe polygon. And then uh, the shape length as well. Um, so there's no like lat long, which is how you might think about putting it on the map, but we do have these names. So we can geocode it based on place name. So I'm going to close that. I'm not going to save the name, but I'm going to remember that tcity15. And I am actually copy that to my. Um, yeah, I might just copy that and keep that in my memory. So close that. Don't say right now we're in um, Pro. I've just got a map up, but you might you might look different to this. Don't worry, the steps are the same. So we're gonna go map. Oh, let's go insert. Oh no, map. Add data. Now we want to add um, address layer to the map because so we've got the name of the. Um, city right so we're going to import a table let's just locate that so i've saved that in a file here local data um, dtm 3239 there it is csv major towns and cities input address locator so this is the one I, yeah it's, uh, what's this this is the address locator to use the geocode table All right let's use esri's Input address field name. So this is going to be address or place, the neighborhood, city. This is the other one. So remember, we had that T16, T city 15nm, and that was like the name of the city, the location. We're just going to base it on that. That's all. Output feature class. Uh, let's give it a better name than that. Major towns and cities. I'm just going to call it DM, make sure that it's in a sensible place. So it's in a damaged geodatabase, that'll do for now. Let's just help Esri by telling it that it's just for the UK. Uh, let's find the UK on here. Uh, there it is, multi kingdom. Ooh, preferred location type. Hmm. Parameters available for locators, it's built in location type, address location, returns geometry for the geocode results. That's what you want. Address location. Boom. Let's try that. So that's gone. Geocode address is completed successfully, and we've added it now to our map. So let's just see if that's worked. Oh, this is going to make this really big, so it's obvious. And let's give it a bright colour. Right, now let's see. Let's go. Oh, that didn't. Oh, yeah, there you go. Yes, please. And let's uh, zoom to there. Let's get me out of the way. Zoom to there. Aha! There we go. So for each one of these, we've got different attributes. There you go. Swansea. So now you've got all these different names that you can use to put on your map. Shrewsbury. Cardiff, sorted, easy, hope that helps. So now using this data, you can go ahead and follow the instructions for labeling. So you can go ahead and um, let's have a look. Uh, short label is what we want. So we're gonna go label features in this class and we're gonna go for field, short name, is it there? Uh, how are these? Uh, yes, yeah, state school. Oh, long, short label. Yes, please. There we go. Now they're all labeled. And then we can do what we did in the um, handout, which is give us no color or size of zero. Apply that. And then you have the names. It's a bit difficult. I've got a base map here, which is 
already a match, so let's just change that to uh, light grey canvas. Um, and then it'll be more obvious that our names, because you've got it labeled twice on this. Oh, and the, the light grey canvas has the names as well. We can turn that off for the reference off. There you go. So these are our names now. So, happy days. We've just added a CSV file and we've geocoded it based on address.